Hi, this is Dustin here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google SketchUp to do just a rough layout of equipment for like a rental or staging scenario. So I've loaded up SketchUp here. I got this uh, sort of 3D person. I'm going to delete them. Now I'm going to go to uh, 3D Warehouse. I'm going to get a model and I'm going to look just for a meeting room. Um, this looks interesting. Let's pick this one. Load into model. Okay. So now I've got that placed. And you see it takes kind of a little bit of dinking around sometimes. So now that's placed, I can sort of move around it, click off of it, and you can see sort of what it looks like. It's not exactly a very good meeting space, but it'll work. So let's build some walls. Go around there. I'm going to use the offset tool. Now this isn't really going to be a scale drawing, so I'm just going to kind of guess. So, yeah, okay, I'll make them that thick. I'm going to delete this space here. Can't really delete that. That's part of an object. So now I'm going to use the push pull tool. Select that, bring it up. Say eight feet. Now I've sort of got a room there, you can see. So what if I want to get a door, I could just draw it on the outside here. Like this, then I could use push-pull tool. Push it through. Now you see it'll turn into sort of a glaze. That's the point at which it becomes clear, and you can see through it, you see that? Now if I kind of screwed up and I want to make the door a bit different size, using the same push-pull tool, you can drag it across and really make some interesting things. Just press the escape there. Okay, so we got our door, we've got sort of our stage area. I don't really like how things are laid out here, so I'm going to see if I can move this whole object with the move tool. Now you notice with move, it the first click actually picks your point, and then you drag it on that axis. So see I'm dragging on the red axis. Um, so I'm going to move that back there. Now the blue on the bottom, that's part of the floor. I, maybe I'll just do this. The box just to fill it in so it doesn't look so weird. I'm going to delete that line too if I can. I can't. Just undo that. We'll just ignore that. Okay, so let's say we wanted to build a small riser stage. Um, I've seen in rental situations they have these stage risers that they just use. So I'm just going to draw a box. Let's, let's just do one big one, which isn't really realistic, but let's do a box, zoom in here. Using the push-pull tool again, we're just going to bring that up. Yeah, let's go about that much. So now I've got our bit of a riser. Now let's see if we can find a uh, projection screen. I haven't tried yet, so I don't know. Tripod screen. I don't know what I'll be able to find. Oh look, it's a daylight. So let's use this one. We'll download this model, we'll load it, and put it right there. Now you see it kind of points the wrong way. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So while it's selected, now I'm not really explaining this, but I'm using the scroll button on my mouse to go in and out. If you hold the scroll button, you can slide your mouse around and you're moving on that axis. Now if you also look up here, it's the orbit tool that happens when I hold down the scroll button. So when you use the mouse, you can really get crafty with zoom, scroll. If I hold down shift, I can move the whole the whole image around in that way. And if you get really stuck, you can always use the quick zoom out, zoom in. For example, if you get stuck in a wall, which is this happen sometimes and you're zooming and you can't see. You can either zoom out, keep zooming out, keep zooming out, and eventually you'll find a spot where you're supposed to be. Now I recommend you take a bit of time and just kind of experiment with moving around, get yourself familiar with how SketchUp actually lets you maneuver through an object because it's kind of a little 
confusing at times, especially when you end up inside walls. Okay, so back to the point. I want to move or rotate the screen around so it faces the audience. So to do that, I'm going to look kind of on top of it. We'll go to the rotate tool. Now you see it snaps. See, now it's trying to do black. That's not what we want. We want to be on the blue axis approximately in the center. So I clicked once. I'm going to point to the origin location. You see it snaps to certain rotations. So I'm just going to snap it straight out here. And you'll notice it might not be exactly 90 degrees, but we almost might we also I should say might not be directly square above it. Let's assume that we are square. Let's just try that. So that snaps there. I'm going to click. Now I'm going to drag and it'll snap to intervals on that uh, compass protractor I guess it is. I click there. I'm going to click outside of it just to see it. And you notice now that I've got a fast fold screen. Now we need a place for the projector to go. I'm going to carve out a spot in the audience. And this I'm going to show you is kind of interesting. When you select this, it kind of treats them as a group. If you double click, you see everything else kind of went darker and now I'm inside the group. So now I can select individual items. These are also grouped. If you want to get out of that, you just click outside. So I'll show you an example here. That chair is grouped. You double click on the chair and then you can get all these objects. So let's just delete one chair, two chair, three chair. Let's kind of delete this side here. Now the geometry of this room is probably pretty crappy, but we'll just leave it at that for now. I'm going to actually move the, take the screen and shuffle it over a bit so that it's centered on my area where the projector is going to be. So I'm just going to click and drag it across. See the green? So it's staying square to where it is and I'm just sliding it across that axis. So let's put it right there. Now I'm going to need a table and I could find a model for one. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's undo. I'm not sure. I think that's something to do with the chair, but yeah, you can see it's kind of floating. Maybe I can pick it. It's kind of bothering me. Okay. Let's just make a makeshift. Uh, let's find a table. Get model. Table. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to use this kind of designer table. I'll put it right there. You can see it's kind of centered to where it's got to be. Now, I'm going to find a projector. 3D warehouse again. Model, let's go projector. Now, these models are models that people have created and uploaded. Um, for example, if you search for uh, Polycom HDX 4500. This is a model that I actually had created and showing you that these can be made and it's actually not that hard to do. Um, if you need a model done, I have uh, guys that I work with that do really quick and good jobs on them, so just uh, let me know. Anyways, let's go with the BenQ because it looks pretty. Download. Now it's kind of a complex model, so you see the size of it's bigger. It's probably not the best idea for this demo, but we'll continue on. You can see the response of it is really slow. It's because it's a very complicated model. It's got a lot of uh, surfaces and a lot of lines. See, my computer is kind of responding slowly here. So now that it's placed, I can just move it around a touch, shuffle it over that way, and then we're going to do the, uh, the rotation again. Let's click on it, click to rotate, click approximately in the middle, point to where it points to now, 
point to where you want it to point to, and you'll see that I could actually help you if you're trying to figure out where the center of the screen would be. And right now this is just kind of a graphical representation, but if you did want to perfectly line things up, say that you had everything scaled up and everything, I could draw a line from, let's say right, just going to guess there, and I could draw it right on that, that red axis, which is square to the projector, run it right into the screen. You see it tries to snap to all sorts of objects, so this is not going to be the greatest. Let's just make it to there. So this is kind of, in drafting terms, it's called a construction line, but it's just a line to tell you kind of where you should be. And then you could center your screen on that. And there's ways that you could draw construction lines within the object if you wished. I'm just going to take this and visually align it. So it's square. Now you can see it's uh, pretty square in the room. All right, so there you have it. That's kind of an AV setup in a board or in a meeting room, like a banquet hall. Now again, this push pull tool is so a quick example. I just want to make this look a little bit better. So I'll move that over, and there we go. Now the last thing we want to do, if I can figure out how to quickly I just wanted to show you how to set some of the materials and you notice all these walls are actually the same color but as you move through it generates the shading so colors aren't really all that amazing but if you wanted to do uh, say uh, bricks this is just an example you click on it and you paint the walls. So, if you wanted to make a comedy club, there you go. Take a look here at carpet and textiles. Let's give the floor a carpet and give the stage kind of a light carpet. And I'm just kind of painting by number here. So, there you have it an AV setup. And if you wanted to show a client, you could actually say, okay, so this is what your view is going to be like, right from there. So there you have it, SketchUp being used for AV setups. Be sure to sign up for the mailing list at ProAVSchool.com for the latest tips, tricks, and techniques of the ProAV industry.